What's up, you guys? What is going on? Today, we are going to learn all about digital content and what it means for you and your business. Okay, so what is digital content? Digital content is anything in the form of an electronic um, that people can download, people can read all from their computer using some form of internet. There are so many different types of digital pieces of content. Okay, there's text, there's images, there's video, audio, um, audio interactive content, social media posts. That's the one we know the most, podcasting, and all kind of software and software applications. So when it comes to digital content, this is what we will always produce in order to get people attractive to what attracted to what it is that we are doing, selling and serving. And digital content and digital products is the fastest way for you to be able to make a sale. So throughout this whole ebook, we are going to be talking about digital content and digital content creation, just so we're clear. Now, what are different types of content that can be produced in the form of digital content that you could potentially create in order to lead to you and your business? Well, the first one is written content, okay? This is your long form pieces of content, any kind of articles, any kind of blog posts. If you are a part of a forum, then having conversations within the forum that can be a part of a conversation with the content that you're going to produce, producing any type of eBooks. What you have right now is an eBook that I created for you to learn content creation. So I always say that any business is able to create an ebook teaching what it is that they know and then selling and monetizing off of it. So when it comes to ideas about blog posts and ebooks and you know stuff like that, it all has a purpose behind it. Blog post is normally to help you create credibility in your business, okay? You are building the know, like, and trust factor. You want people to know who it is that you are. And although we think that blogging is an old, old craft, it is not. People still blog and it still helps with search engine optimization. Articles are the same way. You want to post articles. If you have a newsletter, you could send out to your community. You can do that as well. And then ebooks, of course, we talked about distribution of um, content and information so that we can get the sales and establish no like and trust factor, but also to establish expertise. The next one is there is visual digital content, okay? So this is in the form of your videos, in the form of infographics and photos as well as your social media posts, okay? So this is your visual type of content. Now, what I did in this ebook was very different. You guys are getting the written copy ebook, but you're also able to watch a video of me and the training. So you can do something like this as well, and I can help you out if you need the help, just reach out. Um, But this is something Something that is dynamic okay so we use dual pieces we use video and we use written okay so you can do that as well in an ebook if it is a digital piece of content that you can distribute infographics are good People love information and if they don't have to go digging for it and it's charted out into different sections and they are a visual learner, they can get the information really, really well. I know in particular on Instagram, people save infographics all the time. Number one, because usually it's a lot of information and they can't go through it all at one time as they're swiping or for two that they want to refer back to it later. Okay. The next thing is video. Video is ramping nowadays, okay? Short form video content and people are going to long form video content. If you are not on YouTube, you need to be on YouTube, okay? The best way to distribute video content is to create a long form piece of content and then putting it into a website like repurpose.io or content fries and chopping that long form piece of content into shorter pieces of content and then distributing it across multiple channels. There's Instagram, there's Facebook Reels, there's Pinterest, Idea Pins, there's YouTube Shorts, there's Clapper, there's TikTok. All of these short form pieces of content can be distributed all over the place so that you can build your brand awareness and again, establish the know, like, and trust factor. All right, the next thing is interactive. This is the fun pieces of content, your quizzes, your surveys, your polls, your games, okay? This lets people get more involved with the content so that they can learn better. Again, you have to consider the type of learner. And even if you don't know that type of learner, you need to have all three pieces involved. That's why I have the... um video piece here. I'm also going to have an audio piece in this ebook and it's also written. That way it captures all three pieces of learning styles with the content so that you can receive the information. All right. So let's talk about what is 
good content. Okay, we hear all the time that we need to make sure that we have good content that people can consume and that it works for them. So good content is depicted by certain things, relevance, value, authenticity, engagement, and shareability, okay? In order for you to have good content, the first piece is relevance, all right? Is your content you're producing relevant to your audience? Are you producing the content that they need in order for you to see success or to see a turnover in whatever it is that you're selling or the goal that you have behind your business, all right? So when it comes to relevancy, the one tip that I can give you that works every single time is to make sure that you are polling your audience, questioning your audience, paying attention to what they're asking you and producing content that they want and need from you. Oftentimes as entrepreneurs, we want to produce, produce, produce based off of what it is that we want to present. So that way, you know, we're comfortable and we know we're promoting something, but oftentimes it doesn't catch and we wonder why it's because it's not relevant to our audience more so that we are just posting it to where it'll satisfy us in our business. But when you start creating content that is relevant to your audience, they will latch on, they will save it, they will share it and they will implement it. And if you're selling something, they'll buy it. The next thing is value, okay? Don't skip on your value with the content. Teach them how to do things. Teach them why they're going to do things. Give them actionable steps so that they can do those things. Why? Because if you give them a ton of value, they get thirsty for it. And yes, I use that word thirsty, okay? They crave your information. Oftentimes when people go into my Instagram account, which is social with Rocky with the I, um, they say that they stay on there like a library because there's so much value. I worked for Gary Vaynerchuk's Facebook group in from 2018 to 2021, and I loved it. Back in that time, he was give, 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 jab, 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 right hook. And I gave so much value that it really, really helped me to build my brand and my brand awareness because people knew that I was the real deal. Also, you want to give advice from experience, not something that they can just Google, because if they can just Google it, then you've lost all credibility because they're automatically going to assume that you just Googled it as well. OK, give them stuff that they've never heard before. Give them stuff that is full of information, full of concepts and full of pieces that will help them to learn that you actually learn from your experience. You actually learned from your expertise and that you're sharing it with them, all right? The next thing is authenticity. Be yourself, be yourself, be yourself, all right? Um, make sure that your brand personality stands out all the time. I am somebody that is huge on the color pink. Um, I oftentimes have a blonde wig. Today, I don't. I'm all natural. This is my hair. Um, I, <laughs> I like that. That is my appearance. That's what I like to wear. I have a bubbly personality. And yes, that throws off a lot of people and not everyone likes it. However, everyone knows that's Rocky, okay? So when it comes to authenticity, know who you are as a business owner. Show that through your brand and your content and use the same tone as you would use as if you were talking to somebody face-to-face -face inside of your content, okay? And if you're gonna care about somebody, genuinely care about them, do not put on a front because people can see straight through plastic, straight through fake, all right? The next thing that um, helps out with good content is engagement, okay? We don't give them enough content for them to engage with. Are you asking questions? Are you having a conversation with them? Are you bringing in news that may be controversial? Are you talking about updates in your niche and asking their opinion? People complain about engagement, but they don't give you anything to engage off of. I cannot engage off of a selfie, okay? Unless you're talking about a makeup brand and you're going through step-by-step -step how you put on this makeup and how you did this shade, okay? I cannot engage with a bottle of skincare. I can engage if you talk about how I have eczema and psoriasis and how the skincare is going to help me out. Like there's different things that you can do that will produce engagement. Look at your own post and say, would I engage with this? Okay, go ask a friend, go ask your kids. Kids are really honest. Would you engage with this piece of content? If I showed you this piece of content, what would you say? Now, if they said nice piece of content or nice picture, that's not enough, okay? You wanna produce things that are more engaging, okay? When it comes to content pieces as well as the picture, you wanna look at your caption. Are you putting enough in the caption, okay? Now, when it comes to cash, captions on social media, we truly skip over search engine optimization and keyword optimization, okay? So you can't do two to four sentences. You now have to do two to three paragraphs. And if that paragraph is really good, it is going to increase your engagement. 
The last thing is shareability. We kind of talked about this a little bit. Is what you have presented something that is shareable to the community? So that way they are going to want to spread it across their peers and their biz besties. Is it step-by-step? Step? Is it how-to? Is it a DIY? Is it a video that shows them how to put something together or take it apart or fold things into their business, right? Make your piece of content shareable. And there are tons of different tools you can use to figure out how to create shareable, engaging um, pieces of content, all right? ChatGPT, perplexity.ai, hey, pie, there are a ton of them, right? So let's just recap a little bit. We went over the content types, which is written, visual, and audio. I skipped over audio, you guys. Oh my God. So audio is the last one with that, you guys. Podcasts, audiobooks, et cetera, and interactive, okay? Um, good content characteristics are relevancy, value, authenticity, engagement, and shareability, all right? These are what produces great content the types of digital content. And that is your summary, you guys. So keep diving into this ebook. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. And you are going to be a content beast in no time. Peace. See you soon.